All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. In today's episode, I wanted to do an episode for the sneakerheads out there. I felt like a lot of sneakerheads would overall be thinking along the lines where it's like, I can agree with this guy, you know, like he he's a true legitimate sneakerhead. I, I can relate to him, you know, because some of the things that I'm going to be talking on I guarantee and I promise you there are so many sneakerheads that are thinking the same exact way, all right? This this is why this episode is called Confessions from a Sneaker Addict or a Sneakerhead because yeah, man, I'm I'm telling you sneakerheads, look, when we get a new pair of sneakers, I feel that we're not just getting we're we're getting it for ourselves. Like I feel like there's two different types. Well, I can't even call like them reseller sneakerheads. Like if they're wearing sneakers and got like a collection, then okay. But if they're just buying sneakers to resell them, I, I'm sorry, but I can't call them a sneakerhead. It's it's one of those things where I'm like, you know, I yeah, you might know a little bit about sneakers, but you're not wearing them. You're not enjoying them. You're just trying to make a quick buck off of them, you know? And that's that's one of the main reasons why I love that like Nike or Adidas, whoever where it's like they make so many different pairs where it's like, okay, yeah, that colorway might be a popular colorway, but we're going to make some other colorways. So in case if you can't get that particular colorway, because it's the only one that's out, we're going to make some other one so you can enjoy yourself with that. Because, yeah, I, I you know, personally think that sneakers... Um, like okay so like like let's say for an example like the yeezy 350s i remember for the longest they just it seemed like they didn't really have a whole lot of colorways but it was you know a popular shoe because kanye west he released shoes for nike and so everybody's thinking along those lines like oh yeah it's gonna be the same exact thing bruh when i tell you that there were times when i got me some yeezys under retail there is the two um quant the yeezy quantums and i got them shoes under retail and then um yeah then there was like some other uh ones i'm trying to think i feel like there's oh yeah then there was a pair that i did i believe i did get off of the adidas website i think it was the yeezy 380s them shoes were small bro there that's one thing that i do not like about some shoes is when they run small but they'll it, it's your size that is one of the most annoying things as a sneaker um head because it's like you're getting that shoe like if you're just now getting in the shoes or if you don't like or yeah like you're just now becoming a sneaker head right and then you uh go and you get like about do like five ten pairs of shoes all in the um same size and then you get that one shoe where you gotta go either up half a size or go down half a size with yeezys fam there have been times where i've had to go up one full size in them and then with the quantums i'm trying to think i might have went through the size with the quantums i can't i had to like check the box again because there's so many different pairs of shoes where i've had to go up half a size or go down half a size with uh tim's with timberland boots you have to go down like two sizes I think when I got those shoes, the shoe box is across my room right now, but I think I had to like go to like eight or eight and a half or something. And I'm like, bro, that that it there should be no reason why a shoe fits like that. That is crazy. Okay, so yeah, man, the shoe sizing with some shoes, it's it's just weird. But anyways, but no, getting back to like, you know, Yeezys and colorways and stuff, I, you know, I feel like I shouldn't really be talking about Yeezys because I'm like, currently right now, Kanye, he he's on his whole like, oh, I got to uh, attack people, you know, phase and things. So I feel like Yeezys might not be. So let, let okay, Air Jordan 1s. All right, I, had to, I just had to do a little switcheroo real quick because, yeah, I feel like there might be some people you might not want to hear Kanye West or Yeezys right now so but anyways but no like with air jordan ones like you have the popular colorways where it's like it's the original colorway then you got the bread colorway then you got the royal colorways there's some other colorways that then became popular over the years and stuff and it's crazy because i'm like fam it's you know and that's and that's what i was gonna say was that i like how um brands they will make like numerous pairs so it's easy for everybody to go out and get those shoes because i'm telling you man them resellers they get a hold of them they want to buy like five uh ten a hundred pairs if they can just so they can go and resell them for like an extra 50 or a hundred dollars i'm like bro that's too much work that is way too much work in my, my uh, this is how it's always been for me because i was like even when i was younger I wasn't really a sneakerhead, but I would appreciate me a pair of sneakers. I would wear those sneakers all the way down to the point where that shoe falls apart. 
I'm telling you, like, I, bruh, I can think back when I was younger, when I had, like, a pair of Converse, for an example, a reliable, you know, cheap shoe, I would get me a pair of Converse, bro, you know that, like, I'm trying to think, where do I have, like, a pair of Converse at, so, like, there's, the at the midsole part of the Converse, there's, like, this, there's usually this material that goes across, like, the midsole and stuff, I remember I, it got to a point where I had wore them Converse so much and beat them down so much to where that like that line that goes across um uh, like alongside the uh, midsole it bro it was like slapping back to the shoe like a rubber band that's how bad it was bro it was horrible <laughs> what I would wear I, I'm telling you I would go crazy with a pair of shoes and I still kind of you know a little bit and stuff like I'll wear some shoes through some mud I'll try to avoid it but yeah I'll wear shoes and while, while it's raining, snowing, I'm telling you, man, like, I done went out just so I could test out a pair of shoes to see how they will hold up in the rain, because I'm curious, you know, I live out in Washington State, I've been in Washington State my whole life, and to just kind of tell you guys the weather out here, I'm telling you, if it's like a normal winter, like, where it's gonna snow and all that stuff, I'm telling you, there's, I remember there was, I think it was like that for maybe half a week or something like that, when I used to work in uh, Seattle, downtown Seattle, it snowed, rained, and it was sunny all in one day. And I'm thinking to myself, bruh, how is that even possible? How does the weather just go just straight crazy like that? Like, no, that's some wild stuff, man. But anyways, but no, I, I that's one thing that I always look forward to when I go out and I get me a pair of sneakers. I'm like, okay, are they going to hold up um, out here in Washington? Because I'm like, fam, I ain't been in some bad weather conditions before. And I'm like, look, bruh, I can't get me like some suede shoes or something, wear them out in the rain. And then next thing you know, it's all like, yeah, them shoes is all messed up like for an example um not too long ago is on my sister's birthday we all um us as a family we all went bowling and i wore i wore it was those um new uh air jordan one royal blue reimagines that just came out and no i was uh um wearing them while it was raining and i'm like bruh i i really don't want to mess these shoes up like i think it's supposed to be a new buck material but still like i it's the one thing about it is that when you go on like on google and you're all like how does suede hold up in the rain how does new buck hold in the, um hold up in the rain you always see two answers to that one question and i'm like fam that's why i'm like for me i i try to be that creator when i do uh videos like on sneakers or something like i try to be that creator like to let people know how does a shoe hold up in the rain and that i'm like and the funny thing is i'm like you know what if i make a shoe talking about like how does it hold up in the rain like if it's some like leather shoes leather shoes are okay you can easily just wipe that stuff off it ain't gonna mess up the paint or nothing suede new buck them are them shoes that i avoid because I know that the shoes are gonna fade they eventually gonna start looking a little like weird around the edges and stuff and they ain't gonna look like how it did when they very first came out you know unless I do some construction to them myself and things but yeah man if I don't talk on them shoes of its um rain conditions then it's probably not a shoe to be wearing out in the rain like there's nah bro there are some shoes that I ain't worn them out in like while it's raining outside like there's these one um, pair of uh I think they uh Hirachis they don't even see um Hirachis I think that's what um, those shoes are called. It was, uh, yeah, the uh, Nike Hirachis. But anyways, um, I wore a pair where I think they called them Grip. Nike, um, Nike Hirachi Grip. So you think with that name, oh, them shoes are probably the most grippiest shoes of all time, right? So... I'm walking up into this um, hair place called Sally's. I was getting me a do-rag. I go in there before I even could grab a hold of the door. Because I don't even know why they would have, like, some tile outside. Like, this is, like, some indoor tile that they had outside. So, of course, rain plus smooth surfaces. Yeah, that's not going to be good for somebody, especially with some non-grip shoes and things. So, anyways... Before I could even grab a hold of the door, bruh, my legs, you know how like in that video game Bully when the kids would slip on the marbles? That's pretty much how I felt. I felt directly onto my arm and shoulder, uh, shoulder area, messed with that hole. I, bro, it was hurting so bad to where it started hurting. I, I think I really had like messed up just that whole region of my body and stuff. Not just one, both, because I was like, bro, both my arms were sore and I didn't even fall on my uh right arm. I fell more so on my left arm, but I just had to, bro, I was straight laying on that ground and I was like, 
Why did this happen? I didn't even go into Sally's because I was like, no, nah, I'm upset with you guys on why you would have something. Like, you don't have no, like, wet floor sign. You don't have nothing to warn somebody. Be all like, hey, this, you know, this little, this area right here. I guarantee and I promise you I am not the only one that slipped and fell in front of that place. I guarantee and I promise you on a good rainy day and somebody's going into Sally's to get them some hair supplies, I guarantee and I promise you somebody slipped if they wasn't wearing some, like, waterproof shoes or something. So, yeah, definitely, definitely in areas where it'd be raining and snowing and all that. Snow, I feel like, yeah, you can you can wear you some sneakers out in the snow because no, I remember I wore some uh um the Concord Elevens. I used to I wore those out in the snow. It wasn't, you know, a good idea, but they they held up. I have to say that they did better than some other shoes. Like I there are some other shoes that I wore out in the snow. But I mean I feel like that it's not a good idea. Like if you're gonna get some shoes, like if you're gonna wear them out in the snow and things because i'm like with sn well see because the thing is is like with tim's tim's are heavy so it's like if you are gonna get you some shoes um for like bad weather like that yeah make sure i guess like ooh, actually you know what no gore-tex um air jordan uh they just recently released some uh gore um they're like no they got like a gang of names just like well they just recently came out with a new colorway but um no they got like a whole line of these uh um shoes where it's like they're waterproof and it's like gore-tex i think that is for like all weather conditions like snow and mud and all that other stuff but i they do get dirty like the ones that i have they are they are a little bit dirty because i was like no nah, i gotta test these shoes out and see what they about and stuff and um uh, no Oh, yeah they're good for you know bad weather and things but i wish it was snow because i'm like i'm curious to see how them shoes will hold up in the snow and things so yeah at some point i had to test them out and seeing things but anyways yeah man but i'm like with um with some shoes though it's probably best to not like basketball sneakers like unless it's like like i said like gore-tex then okay but if um if they ain't got gore-tex they just some old regular sneakers yeah it, it, it might not be best to uh wear because i'm like you dealing with ice and then yeah it's it's just yeah it ain't it ain't good bro it's not a good idea so but um no it's like that's one because with me i'm more so a casual wearer and stuff when it comes to sneakers i know there's um people out there they'll buy sneakers for uh um basketball and things but with me i'm like nah man i i wear my shoes casually and casually only like i do have some sneakers that i haven't worn outside and i guess um i you know i have been thinking about that where it's like i do want to get into basketball just for the exercise and stuff and um yeah you know just just try something new do something different and things but um no it's like i uh dang what was i gonna say i just like straight up lost my train of thought see that's what it's like when you talk on something when there's so many different things to talk about you it, it is possible to lose your train of thought dang bro all right so anyways like i was i was doing so good too i think i lost my train of thought a couple of times in this episode because i'm like bro with sneakers look i'm telling you guys sneakers there are so many things that comes with sneakers it ain't just like oh okay you just go out buy you a pair of sneakers and you're solid no you go out and buy you a pair of sneakers like the day you become a sneakerhead because that's how it was for me i went out I bought me a pair of sneakers, and then I was like, okay, because this is when I was like really into outfits and all that stuff, so I was like, these sneakers don't really go with that outfit, I gotta find something to go with this outfit, so I'm like, oh, okay, seen these, went with the outfit, next thing you know, I'm all like, I did see them other ones, and I'm like, I, you know, I might get an outfit that goes with those, so let me just go, next thing you know, you like 100 sneakers deep, and you're like, bruh, how did I get to this point? I'm saying, like, it was crazy because I remember with me, it was like, I was just in getting um, Adidas, you know, like, and I started off, bro, I started off getting Adidas, and it was like, okay, like, this is as far as it's gonna go, I'm not gonna get no other um, pair of shoes, right? And then the dude that got me, um, like that, you know, was teaching me about Adidas and stuff. He ended up moving because I had me a sneaker plug. I had me a guy that was telling me about these things. So, anyways, he leaves. Um, that story is crazy too. I think I told that story before, but anyways, um, he so yeah, he leaves, and then at that point, I was like, I was pretty much like, I, I was like that bird that just got kicked out of the nest. I was like, okay what do i do now i started exploring next thing you know yeah bro i was well it was funny because i was like i remember when i started working in seattle adidas was even the first pair of shoes i think i got me some black air forces and then i um went to uh famous footwear got me some shoes there that were just like some like regular old nikes and things but they they did kind of look like air jordan ones a little bit and stuff but yeah i wasn't really like getting into it and things and then yo know, once when um dude left and then i was just kind of 
on my own. I was like, I think I remember I did get me some uh, random Nikes, ended up getting me some Air Jordan 1s, and then from that point on, it was just getting me sneakers left and right, and I'm like, bro, what is going on? Like, when you then realize you done got so many pairs of sneakers, like, where I'm doing my podcast episode right now in my room, at one point in time, that area, this area was just filled with sneakers. Like, I could not, I had to, like, maneuver around just so I can, like, change clothes and do stuff. Now I got, like, my sneakers more so against the wall, but I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm telling you, being a sneakerhead, uh, it's it's one of those things where I'm like, hey, look, be be careful, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that is be careful. But anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.